Good afternoon, YouTube. It is Sunday, September the 3rd, 2017. It's football season, which means it's barbecue season. At least for me, it is. Yesterday, I was at uh, Richard's Country Meat Market in Fayetteville, Arkansas, and I picked up this big uh, uh, boneless pork loin roast, and we're going to smoke it on the Weber Smoky Mountain 14.5. Now, while I was in there, I picked up uh, another one of the dry rubs. This is Richard's Original Sweet Barbecue Rub. It's got all kinds of good stuff in there. Uh, sugar, paprika, ginger. I'll hold it up to the camera. You can pause it if you want so you can see what all is in there. It looks good. We're going to try this out. Now, last time I tried their molasses barbecue sauce, and it was great. Well, this one is their original sweet barbecue sauce. And this one's it has got a little bit less ketchup, a little bit less tomato. It's got a little more vinegar, and it's got honey in it. So it's a it's a tangy, a vinegary, honey, sweet. This one's really, you can tell I've been sticking my finger in there. I've been tasting it. So, but this is it. This is their original sweet barbecue sauce. And we're going to be trying this out as well. So, mm, down in the uh, description box, I put a link to Richard's Country Meat Market. So, if you happen to be in Northwest Arkansas, in Fayetteville, swing by, give them a visit, and uh, pick up some of their dry rubs and their barbecue sauce. So they're fantastic. So, with that said, let's get started. I'm going to open this up. Look at this. Look at this. This is a big pork loin. Look at that. All right. This is going to be delicious. All right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take this over to the sink. I'm going to rinse it, pat it dry, and I'll be right back. Uh, we got it rinsed. Pat it dry. Let's get the halfway point. Be that right there. Now we get two halves. Now all I'm doing is just putting the rub on here. I like to use a metal bowl because it catches all your seasoning and you can kind of dab your meat into it. Let me turn this over. I'll clean the GoPro later. We got a nice thick coating on here. This is looking good. We'll go do the other one real quick. And we got them all done. There they are. We got them nice and seasoned up. Now we're going to go get the smoker ready. All right, we got some charcoal. Get a little water here. I got all the vents wide open as soon as this thing gets up to about 225. We'll add the wood down here and that good looking boneless pork loin roaster. All right. All right, while that's coming up, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little more seasoning on here. Let me see the moisture starting to soak up the seasoning there. All right, we're sitting about 225. So let's go ahead and put the wood in here. I think we can get both of them on here. Kind of bunch them up a little bit. They will shrink a little bit. Yeah, I think this will be all right. They'll shrink a little bit. There we go. Let's get the lid on. All right. Let her go. All right, it's only been about 10 minutes, but we got a good smoke going. All right, about the 30 minute mark. Looks like we're about 240, 240 or so. I'm gonna back off these vents just a little bit. It's been a little over an hour. We're about 220, 225. Let's just take a little, let's take a little peek and see what it looks like. Looking good. Keep on going, baby. All right, it's been about an hour and a half. Looks like. Smoker's kind of peaked up a little bit. It's about 255, almost 260. Let's take a reading. And I can hear it sizzling. Let's try right here. And this thick part. 
147. We're getting close. 148. We're getting close. 149. 150. One fifty-five, one fifty-six. All right, let's pull them. All right, let's go ahead and put a little sauce down here. I'm gonna wrap these in barbecue sauce. Whew, look at that, man! Put lots of sauce on here. So here they are, they're hot. I'm just gonna let them sit here for about an hour. We'll kind of continue to cook a little bit, steam up, sounds good. Okay, it's been about an hour. Well, let's see what one of these babies looks like. Let's see here. I know there's gonna be a lot of juice in here. We put that barbecue sauce in there. And I was hoping we'd finish this at about, you know, around 160. You know, I took it off with varying temperatures. Some of it was uh, 150, some of it was 155, 160. So hopefully we averaged it out and we pulled it to where it continued to cook a little bit inside this foil. It's about medium, medium well. At least that's the way. Like, a lot of people like it medium rare. Mmm, mm, mm. mm, look at that sauce there. That looks pretty good. I think it's cooled off enough. I think so. Yeah. Let's put it right here. Wow. We got all these juices here. Let me get a napkin. Get that. We gotta save some of these juices over here. You know? Wow, it looks great. It looks great. Doesn't look pink. It looks very, very nice. Let's cut a little piece here. I'm going to grab that sauce. I'm going to dip it in there like that. That came out delicious. Very delicious. Mm -hmm. Looks really, really good. Tastes great. Look at that. It's got a little pull on it. I got it just about where I wanted it. I didn't want it overdone like pulled pork where it just falls apart. You know, I wanted it to where, uh, you know, it's got a little pull to it, a little bite to it. Mm. Came out great. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, we're going to do some spare ribs pretty soon. Mm. Wow. So thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. I'm going to slice these up to make some sandwiches for tomorrow. Alright, well, thanks everyone and have a good night.